Welcome to Past 2 AM with Quackalope. Today we're playing Cyberpunk Gangs of Night City, a brand new game from Simon, uh, available over on Kickstarter. There's, there's a link down below that you can follow. And we're diving into this for two very good reasons. One, because this is a helter-skelter, fun, area control-based game. And two, because Simon just released the TTS, so you can actually go play this yourself if you want to give it a closer look and decide if this project or this campaign is right for you. We are diving into the story mode of Cyberpunk 2077, which Alex is skeptical about, and I am uh, massively probably, intrigued it's by. It's probably the most interesting thing in this entire system for me, because there should be things that happen, like events that unfold throughout the course of play, and I almost want to trick everyone into staying for four more game sessions because I have a pile of stories that I haven't had a chance to see yet. Hi, I'm Alex Radcliffe from the YouTube channel Board Game Co. And I, I like area control games. Hello, hello. My name is Max. I'm an occasional guest in this house. And uh, we'll see what this night will bring us. It's past 2 a.m. That's not happening. That is, that is true and accurate, both to the format and uh, the, the time of night we will finish this gameplay. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Alex, are you ready to lose? Because in the last gameplay you dominated? Loosely. With the one caveat or exception that Max and I were not there, which means now uh, you're- No, a massive caveat was that it was the tutorial game and there was not enough time for the late bloomer factions ah. to actually It's okay, by the time this score. game is done, it'll still feel like Max and you were not there. My experience with Cyberpunk 2077 was in an online TTS gameplay, and it was a lot of fun. It's a area control game, which is my genre. So my initial thought about this game, uh, it's really interesting com concept in between areas you control and the items you get so you can modify your abilities and stuff you do. Cyberpunk 2077 is a fascinating game. It's one that I haven't had a chance to dive into that much yet, nor have I had a chance to explore the story-based content, but I've enjoyed what I've seen so far. It, it falls very much into a classic area control game, but with area control a little bit being in the background, and there's a lot of other elements around it. Uh, from reading the rulebook to Godfather Corleone's Empire, is another game from Kaman, it seems to have minor similarities and overlap while being very much its own beast. I couldn't collapse up with the video game, never played it, don't have that much of an interest in it, but I'm very interested in this one so far. Let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna walk you through how we play and, and our turns and actions as we go through the course of game, but we need to start by setting up the actual story that we're playing. We've already all established our uh, presence on the board. We need to figure out what edge runners we have available and what opportunity cards we uh, are going for. But to begin, the cost of success. There's a lot happening here in Cyberpunk 2077, but the core of what you need to know is that this is an area control game with variable ways to score victory points and drive towards endgame. Over here, we're going to have the victory point track, and right now, what we're aware of is that the first person to hit or cross the 25 street cred mark is going to trigger the endgame cycle, leaving whoever has the most street cred at the end of the game the victor. Now, there are going to be story cards in this gameplay, and in most gameplays you have, these will be branching pathways that have various different trigger conditions, and will change potentially the end game and also a lot of the mid-game experience. Today, we're gonna to be playing through the cost of success, and none of us have journeyed through this story card before. The cost of success. We got word from a local fixer that an Arasaka agent took off with a pile of creds and company secrets. It's no wonder they've got the silence out in force looking to end this punk. But what if we find this Benny ourselves? We can take out what he's got and maybe net some Dragon new toys or just sell him back to the corp for a quick chop in our pockets. Nah? I feel like an idiot saying words that don't have any meaning. Nah? Uh, I agree with you. It is hard to read words that are just words. made up. Made up uh, fictional words. Oh my god, you're struggling story, here. Story setup. Reveal Act 1. Okay, so this is the story. Oh, that should probably stay under here. The story that we're doing, the cost of success. Act one, traces. Uh, act setup. Place the investigation token, which will be over there in that bucket, the little uh, pip number one. Yep. Uh, on the first red next step, place a time token on space seven. So time token here. So the red net step is going to be down here the net watcher role, so somewhere in that position, and branching. So this has two potential spin-offs. 
Uh, we found the agent's location, or let's hope we didn't waste this opportunity. Over here on the main board, you're going to see various different, well, area control points of interest with our starting units at each one. Now we're going to have solo, netrunner, and techie units, each with their own unique bases based off of the actions that we take with each one of them, and they'll have different impacts on the course of play. Along with that, you'll find points of interest and resources that you can collect whenever you do a refresh cycle for, from your character board. Now, these area control points aren't necessarily places that we're fighting or battling over all the time. Sometimes you just want to operate and have presence in them. But the points of interest specifically will be highly contended zones. Each one of these points of interest are going to tie down here to different actions that we're able to take in the course of the game. We have opportunity cards with the gray points of interest. These will be resources that we have to, sp we have to pay and conditions we have to meet in order to get bonus abilities, and also start scoring high level victory points. We have edge runners that tie to this uh, golden zone here. These are people we can recruit that give you special abilities unique to them, and of course, give you new ways to earn victory points or street cred throughout the course of the game. And we have the net tied to these purple regions. This is going to be where we press our luck a little bit, getting extra bonus actions, powerful debuff abilities to our opponents, and potentially rolling some dice and getting caught or hit by the net watcher which has a debuff uh, effect on you as well. Now, outside of that, every character has their own asymmetric board with a series of actions that they can take. You have all of these actions across the top here, six in total. The first one is going to be your combat action, moving some of your solo units across the board and engaging in actual combat. You're going to have your techie action, which allows you to move yourself and some of your drones around the board, allowing you to go ahead and hire edge runners or take opportunities. You're going to have your net runner action, which is going to work with the net over here, giving you bonuses, wild resources, and of course, powerful side abilities. You can go ahead and build and establish bases around the board, which allow you to collect resources and spawn new units every time you refresh. You have a card upgrade for your combat cards, which will cost a little bit, but give you much more powerful cards into the course of play that your opponents don't know about, meaning you can uh, twist the script just a little bit, and we have a wild resource action. On your turn, you're going to take up to two of these top actions, sliding them down into the reclaim stage of the board, or without taking any actions, you could do a full reclaim phase where you spawn new people, gain new resources, and reset your action discs to give you more well, options during the course of play. All right, Alex, do you want to go through the opportunity cards we have? Now, Absolutely. the opportunity cards are basically where we can score adjacent modifiers mm -hmm. and victory points. They're going to have cost on the left side that will give you as a cost, or these give you the rewards. These are... Those are the costs. The cost, the cost. You're going to be going ahead and paying those in, these uh, equipment crates and whatnot, as you acquire, as you complete them. Uh, the requirement over here for the first one is Ronin Upgrades, which has no requirements. When you gather it, you'll gain one point for each uh, one of these these missions you have, the blue missions you have, okay. then gain one point for each opponent that has more points than you. So that's a nice catch mechanic over Interesting. there. Interesting. We have Prime BD over here. Requirement requirement is presence in Haywoods. You have to have presence here. When seized, gain a point for each purple mission you have. Then you may replace an opportunity card in the market, putting it at the bottom of the opportunity deck. We have Corporate Elite BD over here, which has no requirements again. Then when seized, gain one point for each purple mission you have. Then you may spend one to gain two points. They okay. One uh, blue, oh, what's it called? Yeah. And we have two different edge runners that we could potentially hire here. We have uh, Judy Alvarez. Uh, she's a techie. Uh, her ability, use the tech action disc, or this triggers when you use the tech action disc. Uh, place a drone when put into play. You may replace an opportunity card from the market, placing it at the bottom of the opportunity deck. So a little bit of cycle there. And then Victor Vector, uh, he's a techie as well. Uh, his ability triggers when he uses the action disc and you can look at one extra card. So he actually gives you the chance to upgrade, kind of similar to how your core ability works, uh, which is interesting. I'm going to be playing as the Maelstrom. They are kind of the heavy hitters in this game, mainly focused on combat, upgrading their combat cards, and getting some secret points, well not so secret points, at the end of the game. So today I will play as the Voodoo Boys. Uh, it's a faction of the Netrunners. And uh, they are good at hacking stuff and get away with uh, bad rolls. Uh, Max, you're the first player. All right. What do you think you're going to do? I think, first thing first, I will spend this action to move my net runner, right? The square, the net runners. And I will move him over here. 
The Netrunner action is going to be an action that gives you a lot of peripheral bonuses from points to small little adjustments to the game state. What you're going to do is you're going to move any and all of your Netrunners around the board as you see fit. From there you're going to be trying to move them into Netrunner spaces because every Netrunner in a Netrunner space doing the step will get you a wild resource. Past that you're then going to move up the Netrunner track equal to the number of Netrunners you have on the board or more specifically up to the number of Netrunners you have on the board allowing you to pick and choose with a little bit more flexibility which result you get. Do you want points? Do you want to move people out of their spots? Do you want to go ahead and build some drones? Do you want to get more points and convert an opponent's unit into your own? There's a lot of options and they all get better the stronger you go up the track. Once you're done moving you're going to go ahead and roll the dice to see whether or not you succeeded or failed at staying where you are or resetting and taking the penalty. I will move over here. Which is going to gain you a victory point. And now I have to roll for the net check. Now you have to roll. If you hit a four or less, or four or more, yeah, four or less, uh, you would have had a consequence. You're perfectly fine. Sure. Chunky dice. Uh, they are, they're very chunky Simon dice. Uh, then, if the net tracker has reached the last space, you'll reset to the top. Okay, so that's your first of potentially two actions. That's my first and my second. Good question. I think I will upgrade the card. With the red token, you can upgrade a combat card. You'll be drawing some of the combat cards from the deck, looking at them, choosing one, and exchanging it with one that you already had in your hand so that you still remain with only four cards throughout the whole game. Okay, so this is a very simple action. You're going to be able to spend one of your crate resources drawing two combat cards. You'll pick one of these to keep, one to go into the bottom of the deck, and you'll reduce your hand size. Uh, well, you discard one card from your hand that you pick, and you'll keep your hand size at four. And moving over, I can go ahead and start on my turn. Now, Valentinos have no interest in fighting any of you. We, we really don't. Today I'm playing the Valentinos, and honestly, we're just really good at making things work. You, you see, these opportunity cards are going to be one of the main areas for you to score victory points across the course of the game, and I get to have one of my own stashed away on my board. It's a side objective, something that I can dive into or dig into when I need to, and uh, kind of always there in my pocket for me to get that extra benefit. However, we do have a strong inf interest in defending ourselves. I'm going to start with a card upgrade immediately, spending one crate, uh, going to go ahead and draw two cards just like you, and taking a quick glance at them. Interesting. Okay, like I said, not interested in fighting, interested in defense, Alex. Seems reasonable. That's the, uh, that's the core. What's your second action going to be? I'm gonna go ahead and get this one out of the game. So it's gonna be the one that I discard from my hand. Second action. I do wanna establish a little bit of base control. I, I think I'm gonna go ahead and take this techie action here. Using your techies allows you to move onto two different points of interest and either buy an edge runner or take an opportunity. Uh, so the techie unit is going to be this one. That's not your color, but I appreciate you moving. Techie me. unit is going to be this one. And you can also move your drones if you should like. I can. And if I step into a position, I would be able to go ahead and hire someone, which I am incentivized to do. I'm going to step up into the city center and immediately slot myself into that position there. I will move my drone up with me. Uh, and I'm going to spend the coin that I need to go ahead and take a higher action. Now, if I had a person in a gray zone, I could take an opportunity action. I don't. I'm going to hire Judy Alvarez. Uh, she is a tech. Uh, so, place her over here. I can hire a maximum of three of these characters. Now, the question is, which one is she? She's this one right here. She snaps on a base spawns where my base actually is, so spawns in that location, brings a drone with her because she's a tech. Did you have to replace any of your units with her or she was just an additional? Sometimes nope. you have to replace them. She just pops on. She's a techie edge runner. All right. Okay. And now remind us all about if someone is occupying a space that someone else wants to be on. How so there's that? plenty of other yellow spaces around the board that you're welcome to go That's to. That's not the answer. You have to uh, knock them out using your solo units. You have units. to knock them out using your solo units, which would engage in a combat. Okay. Uh, now, that being said, Shira, the new person that just popped out is going to be a cost of two. His name is Nix. He's a net runner, edge runner, stopping on a red step at the end of the... Stopping on a red step at the edge of the net run, gain one wild resource. Oh, nice. So, anyone that's going up the net running a track, All right. not a bad unit to have. First action. 
I am taking a techie action. Can you please move my techie into that zone? Into Westbrook on there. And you can move my drone as well. Okay. Alongside me. Are you hiring the person that helps you out the most? Yes. What else would I do? So this Edriner came out that is perfect for my strategy here. It will allow me to look at more combat cards. I really hope Jesse doesn't take it with his actions before I get a chance to. She's going to be hiring Victor Vector, who is going to give you an extra action card. So you get to look at four. I get to look at four cards right now. When you decide, are you upgrading immediately? And then I'm going to be upgrading and going up my rage track by one. Because every time I initiate a battle or upgrade a combat card, I go up a rage track. Which okay. is just end game points. Look at four combat cards and uh, Alex. My faction is pretty combat heavy. My main strategy is going to be upgrading my combat deck so that I can beat all these guys in combat. And score the hidden points at the end of the game. All right, I'm going to head over to, I'm going to go ahead and move my, let's see, I'm going to move my solo unit, can you grab my solo unit, what? and move him into where Jesse is, in that middle district, yep, right there, and you'll, I'm going to try to knock him out. out, yep. The solo action has two benefits, two reasons to do it. The first is the actual starting of combat, which is going to be a huge part of the game that will give you a lot of points, opportunities to play your cards, and the second is that it pulls people from their domains, freeing you up to take subsequent actions in those spaces. When you do engage in a combat, you're going to go ahead and pull everyone in the region into the combat, and then everyone's going to sit there and play a card. They're going to take from their hand of cards one of the cards, they're going to secretly play it, then everyone's going to reveal it, you're going to resolve the strength of the card, not the units, the strength of the card, you're going to resolve any modifiers of the card, and then any in end combat impact of the card, seeing who gets victory points, how it plays out. Whoever has the most guns, or all the players that have the most guns, will not lose any units, and anyone who does not have the most guns will lose a unit, and that will often trigger some of the points that are distributed at the result of the action. So I'm bumping out Jesse over there? You're bumping me out? You're fighting me? Yes, I am. If you put me... Do I, I go in, right? No. No, no, not yet? No. Okay. I just bump you out instead. That's all I do? Yeah. Okay. I'm fine with that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and... There's another you. place down here. You could have went straight into it. I respect that. Yeah, but sometimes being <laughs> in the city center has the most rewards. Mm. Oh, come on. Are you talking to me or the company makes this game? All right, ready? Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be taking you out. Yep. Uh, and you gain a point. Yep. And, and if I didn't... as revenge. And if I didn't lose a... Uh, I take your what? You take my unit in front of you as revenge. You put it over here. What does that mean? The next time that I have a firefight, I can retrieve that revenge unit. Okay. Um, and then uh, doing the compare step, I add one comp one gun for each unit I retrieve. I don't like that. And if if I kill one of your units, I also get two points. Today I'm playing as Tiger Claws. One of the things that's fun about them is the fact that they have this very heavily focused revenge mechanic. This is going to play in nicely with the way I plan on approaching this game. The idea that you're kind of a little bit less incentivized to attack Tiger Claws because if you do, they might be able to get back at you a little bit more strongly. Combine that with this kind of gameplay approach that I'm trying for, that I'm aiming for, of trying to stay in the corner, sitting there and le letting people leave me alone, I think this will act as a strong disincentive in the early game and act as a nice punishment in the end game. Interesting. We both gain a point, though, because the card we played, Correct. if you didn't lose a unit, I gain a point, and Correct. since you... Uh, for my second action, left. I'm going to go ahead and pop and play one of these guys over here. Uh, I'm not going from this, so I'm going to move this down here, and I'm moving this down over here. These are two actions I took. You're going to be building a base. Oh, building a base over here. These are such cool cards, man. Why do I have to pick one? Your turn, Jesse. No. It's Your me. turn, Max. Max's turn. Building a base allows you to both get some small amounts of points and get more units out there as you refresh all the discs that you use and have more dominance in the areas. Okay, so I think I'm going to build a base, and I'll pay dollars for that dun, 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 and dun, I'll place dun. the base over here hmm. and my second my second turn did you put the other ones in the bottom of this I did okay mm -hmm. I think I'll play my solo guy. Okay. And I will take him over here. You don't need to fight me, dude. No, 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 no one's fighting you. I think we'll start to attacking Jesse right now to a little bit uh, thin his presence on the board. It sounds like he's fighting you though. He is fighting me. 
Well, now that your three's gone, why wouldn't he? Your faction won last time. Whose faction won? Oh, that's right, they did. You played as them <laughs> last yeah. time, so it's only fair that we... We should target Jesse. I believe that the Valentine faction, the Valentinos <laughs> are the strongest and then in this game. The strongest, absolutely. They're overpowered. If you have three Completely. units, you will choose which one's out. Yeah. Okay. Ah, so annoying. Okay, ready? Yeah, you're going to knock me out. I'm going to get no benefit from this. Uh, you're not going to lose a unit, so you will gain a victory point. And I will not... Well, what no, choose? I choose. Ah, uh, you choose. I choose, my, and I'm just going to ping my drone. Oh, I had to spend um, that to upgrade a combat card. Everyone paid to upgrade their card. Okay, oh, yes. That means I didn't upgrade cards. Is that both your actions? That was my second one. All right. I do not love that. But I am going to go ahead and take a Netrunner action, which is going to be my blue action. I'm going to be moving my Netrunner um, up into this zone here. Uh, that's going to go ahead and give me one wild resource, please. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I get to go ahead and move one up over here, which is just going to get me my initial victory point. And I'm rolling... Some very chunky oh, Seamon Uh That is five. That is just enough for me to not just have any consequences. Enough. Second action. I think I'm going to take a second action of a additional net action. Now, there is a wild token here that can be used for, well, any action you want. It, it's just there to take advantage of. Uh, I'm going to stay right there. I'm getting another one of these blue. I am going to be moving up an additional one. An opponent discards one random combat card. Um, the funny thing is, I want to do it to you, but you're also the only person that hasn't attacked me yet. <laughs> yeah, only... Maybe not make enemies with all three players. Yeah, in the this only game. thing I'm curious about is if you're going to attack me soon. Uh, Max, uh, you've got to do a refresh. Have you used your violence yet? I have to do it to you. You haven't used your violence yet. If I can debuff whatever you just... You don't get to look at it, do you? No. If I can debuff whatever you uh, just selected, that would be amazing. Okay. And she laughed, meaning I, I didn't uh, de I didn't debuff anything. Uh, I think that's... Man, I don't love this. I've got to roll again, and I think that's my cycle. Oh, come on. Come on. That's a four. Did you roll poorly? Yeah, I yes. rolled wow. horribly. So what happens? Uh, kick all friendly units out of every data fortress. So I get kicked out of here. This pops back up. Oh, wow. It's that's, an abysmal failure. That's brutal. It's not a very good, yeah, that's not a very good cycle. Sure. Great to you. Yep. My turn. I'm going to do a net run action. Please move me into that purple zone over there. You Thank it. you. And then I'm going to... You get the resource. Always one resource. And then where is my thing? It's an amount of your net runners in the purple. 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 And then... Perfectly fine. Seven. And then I get to move down here, right? Yep. Gain um, one victory point. Gain a point. You gain the bonus first and then you roll, right? It's... Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Um, oh, that was my first action. Okay, second action. Second action. Ooh. What do I want to do? And these count as wild, correct? Mm -hmm. The blues? Yes. Yes. All right. I'm building a house. I'm spending this, and I'm spending uh, money, and I am building a... That's not... The, a safe house? A safe house. Put it in the city center. Why not? No, no, no. Hey, right, my turn. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to activate my techie units. I'm going to grab a techie unit. If you can grab me, um, I'm not going to do want my drone. Uh, let's grab the techie unit. Yeah. And then I'm going to move it. I don't think I need to move the drone, but I'm, uh, I'm not going to move the drone. Right, I will move that techie unit over to, up to Shira's zone over there. Is there a perfect? Okay, great. And then I'm going to spend... There's a purple available, too, if you yeah, like. Yeah, nope, nope. And then I'm going to spend two of these over here. Okay. And I'm going to buy Ronin Upgrades. Ronin Upgrades has no requirement. It costs two of these. 
one sees, gain a point for each thing you have. So it be one point, and then gain one point for each opponent that has more than you, which is two opponents, so I'm gonna get three points. Nice. I don't understand how people are not paying attention to the fact that Alex has way more points than any of us. He's gonna trigger this first story, and I'm still being targeted. Why? Not a bad little catch-up mechanic there, you need it. Uh, the next one that's coming out after your turn is over is Upscale Vercade. Uh, presence in City Center or Westbrook. Gain one point for each purple you have, then you may replace an opportunity card in the market. So that's not technically available until your turn's cycled. Yep. Then for my second action, I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, interesting. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, for my second action, I'm going to move my tech unit. Uh, can you move my, my, my net runner yep. to this zone over here? Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to go in net running. So I'll go I ahead. I don't know. Does your drone survive by itself? Oh, this... drones do not survive by themselves, do they? So I don't believe so. So I'll move my move me. I'll move my net runner with me over here. Drones move with techies. Yeah, so I'm gonna move my drone with me, so as to not have that happen. Um, and then I'll go ahead and I don't love that. Well, don't love you didn't that. move a techie then. I know. I'm thinking it shouldn't change anything. Do you mind if I leave my guy in that zone with my drone? No. Yeah. Just put him on yep. that gray zone. Yep. And then with the drone. Yeah. There you go. All right. Cool. And then I'm going to uh, move this guy over here. And uh, what's it called? Uh, go net running. So I'm gonna roll the dice. Take the blue. Take a blue token. Roll the dice, and that's definitely a perfect. Everyone one. does better than you at these. And then dice. I get a point. Yeah. Yeah. Need the catch up mechanic. On me. On to you. And Alex, check movement around drones. They move separately. I know. Um, I don't know if they survive if they're left alone. I vaguely recall they don't survive, but I, I think sure is right. I'll double check. I think I will do reclaim. So I think the right move right now is gonna be to do the reclaim action. Although I have a couple more action open to do, because I have a big presence on the board, I think it's gonna be really beneficial for me to gain all these resources. Now the refresh action here is going to be critical. You see, when you refresh, you not only get resources from areas where you have presence, areas where you dominate, which means you have the most units and you have a hidden base there, you also get to spawn new units onto the board. It really resets the game and establishes the pace of when and how you're going to be able to take your future actions. Do you do everything on your board that you possibly can? Or do you start refreshing quickly in the cycle to get presence on the board and gain resources quickly and early on? Um, I dominate in this area, so it's one point and one crate. Yeah, they're immediately lost. Okay. I dominate in this area. I'll take another do two. Do you have a hideout? He in does. Both he areas? has one in both. Mm -hmm. And what do you get for that area? Two crates. Cool. Yeah, he planned it well. And here I have presence, so I get one money. Cool. That is planned well. And that should be it, or it's something else. No, that's your, that's your reclaim action. You can spawn people now as well in oh, hideouts. Oh, I can spawn, spawn So people. you can spawn up to two. I can spawn two the same, or? No, two separate ones, one at each hideout. Uh, I'm also going to be taking a reclaim action. I'll do this guy. Cycling up, I'm only going to be able to spawn one, and I have, uh, I do not have, I do have dominance here. Oh, good to know. So, two coins. Uh, and then I'll take one Where do you dominate? crate from here. I dominate this one. Oh, it's because you're, yeah. Tizzard. Uh, and then I get to spawn one person, and I'm going to go ahead and spawn... I should take my drone with me. A netrunner there. Uh, okay, sure. Ooh, she's, she's going to war. I am going to war. With me? It's your own fault! You caused me to discard. That's not... The Valentinos are the strongest. Da, da, da. Says the person who's currently skyrocketing to the top of the uh, oh, no, I need cash mechanics. Move any solo units, then a player may initiate a firefight in one district. Uh oh, do I did I want to move in there? Yeah, I I want that area. Um, so I'm moving in there with that action, and then I am choosing that's the combat card you caused me to discard. If people would stop attacking me. I promise I would be able to do a, a little bit better. I, I just, I started off not being very aggressive and already every player has engaged in combat with me. This is not what I want. I wasn't attacking anyone initially. Jesse ganged up on me and he took one of my combat cards by random from my hand. Of course I'm gonna retaliate. I am choosing a combat card. Do, 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 do. 
we're gonna do this one. Ready? One, two, three. Okay. Review. Every other combat card modifier is treated as blank. So this oh, reveal text on. doesn't do anything. <laughs> You've got one gun to my... You have one, two, three. Is that a... Uh, your, your people don't add. People, okay. people, people don't count. Well, it's one gun to my two guns. Um... I still get my card condition though, right? Yes, the modifier yeah. is not. That's so annoying. This modifier lets me add additional cards. I love cards. that card. I had that card. Uh, but I will go ahead and discard two wild resources for two straight up this victory points. Up to four to get the same number of. That's cool. Uh, which is nice because it means just being in combat as much as you, Alex, and you, Shira, want me to be in are you gonna is remove? going to start benefiting me greatly. You, If you have the tokens. Are you gonna, oh, I'll have the are tokens. Are you going to remove a unit? All right. I know I'm not going directly for my strategy, but this combat card that I just drew is really cool. Here's the thing. It's going to give me the chance to spawn a bunch of points as long as I can get wild resources. I think I'm committing to this strategy. It's one of the things that I like about Cyberpunk so far. There's a lot of different pathways you can take, and you really are encouraged to double down on one narrow thing. I am going to remove a unit. Thank yeah. you, because I get three points if an opponent loses a unit. No, oh, good for three. Three points. One, two, three. So. Whoa. One, two, that's three, not, three, four. That's dun, not good. Dun, 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 All right. I mean, I think it's fine dun, dun, for my faction, because dun, dun, I really. am a slow gainer. So bum, 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 one, two, three. Oh, look, I caught up with the pack. It's really now. not beneficial. Um, my turn? Or that was no, that was, that was her first action. action. She's I'm still figuring excited. out what else she I'm wants to do. I'm just excited. What else? Have you used all your combat cards yet? Nope, I still have one left. It's public information what combat cards you've used. I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, they're, they're all here. What did you use? You're, you used a three You don't know what I one. discarded, though. Correct. Um, you also don't need to fight me more. It's how I get my rage track up. There's other people you can fight is what I'm saying. It's, it's how I get my rage track up, dude. Um, you know what? We're going to use my wild and do another firefight. In my district, um, you're not occupying any units. Um, play one combat card and compare guns. Ready? Wait, was yours dependent upon a unit being removed? The last one was. Yes. I've got a drone right here. Drones don't count as units? Drones don't count. No, drones are specific cards that get removed. I know they are referenced sometimes specifically. They're, they're drones specific are a class of special unit. But they're specifically referenced if a drone gets removed versus a unit gets removed. If they just said unit, a drone a unit, mm. drone unit. If it just attack a unit, a drone unit. unit. All right. It just says unit. Then, then it's a unit. All right, fine. It's because it's not that many guns. There's ones that have higher amounts I of understand guns, so you that's get those very... points. But the fact that it negates the modifier is terrifying. Yeah, it's definitely a unit. There's basic units and special units. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I get nothing. I did not lose a unit. All my cards come back into my hand, Lose though. another unit, though. Thank you. And I gain a point, <laughs> and I go <laughs> up this kit. track as well. Alex, it's your turn. <laughs> it is my turn. I'm going to go ahead and recall. Recall, recall, recall. We've reached the end. I'm going to go ahead and recover all used action discs, which I just did. I'm going to gain one from presence, gain all from dominance. Sadly, I don't dominate anywhere because Shira decides to join my district, and I decide to move out and do other things. Yeah. That's okay. I will go ahead and take two money from here. No, you do dominate. There. Your your yep. house counts towards domination. I do not believe it does. I will nope. double check that, but I do not believe it does. You just have to have it to dominate. Yes. Gotcha. A dominance is achieved the most units, the sum of basic units, Plus drones, and edge the runners. house. So the house is just a requirement. Um, and then from there, I will go ahead and, 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 do I want the point? Is there a benefit to the person who gets the, who has the, the who hits that number on the track? We don't know. We don't know. Okay, fine. I'm not going to bother focusing on it then. Um, I will keep those two money. And then I will go ahead and rec rec recruit one unit for every hideout. It could play. also just strong debuff you. Yep. yep. We don't know. Um, because it recruits one hideout from each play. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and... Jesse, you have all your cards back, don't you? I do have all my cards. I don't <laughs> love yes. that. I don't love that. How about we it. don't fight me? Have we ever thought about How that? How about you stop taking away my cards? We consider just not fighting stop me. I have not considered not cards. fighting you. Um, not. Okay. It's all the board. Um, I think I'm going to pop in one edge runner. Where's my edge runner? The edge runners are going to be these guys over here and one of these over here. I think that works for me. So I'm going to pop this one into that, uh, this one over up there, and this one, no, no, has to be, there we go, perfect. Okay. okay. And that's my turn. It's supposed to be your hideout, 
So you can uh, pop sorry. over here. Yeah, over there. Monsieur okay. Max. Okay. Actually, in that case, I'm gonna switch the two. Okay. okay. Whatever for. And no, this one comes out with the drone, I think. Ah, no, it's a uh, solo. Just the giant amount of flexibility that one gives me. Okay, so I think the first thing first, I will move my techs. First things first. Da, 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 so da, da, I'll da, move da, this guy da, over da, here. Da, 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 da. Mm. Okay. And this guy over here. And then I can perform one of these actions. Mm -hmm. So I want to spend two crates to get this card, which will give me one victory yep. point. Mm -hmm. And then I can spend one. That seems so much more efficient than Jesse's. And gain another two points. Yeah. Two? Mm -hmm. Yep. Nice. I think my strategy is gonna be to go after the purple cards. So every time I'm gonna buy another purple card, it's gonna multiply my victory points. So my goal is to benefit on that. Okay, and for my second turn, I think I will move my net runners, and I will move this net runner over here. Oh, Jesse, just for proof, hmm. one of my basic cards, that's the warding on that. Ah, uh, non-drone unit. It sure is, does not say non-drone unit. Thing it's clearly. not. Yeah. Yep. Over here. Thanks, Jesse. I remembered that terminology, hoping that it was... From somewhere. Mm -hmm. Hoping that it was in your favor? Mm -hmm. No. Why would it be in your favor? So now, I will perform the net running, right? So because I have one, only one space... Well, no, but you have move. two active net runners, so you'll, uh, you'll move up, you can move up two. So it doesn't hand? have to be in a zone. It it's, is. It it's gain one zone. per to, to gain the... Yeah. the no, no, no. Token. It's gain wild per controlled. Yes. But so you this move, one stays here. But you move up based oh, on the, the number that you have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now I can move... You can move up to two. So you could either... Uh, an opponent discards one random combat card or move one opposing unit. I'm happy to discard a random combat card. Yeah, she's got one left. Don't do it. That's all right. Happy to discard a random combat I card. I think I'll move over here because I, I really yeah. want to go to the red to progress okay. in the story. Move one opposing unit. One yeah, I, opposing I didn't realize unit. that. Do you mind if I change who I built? No. Yeah, I want two net runners in play. Cool, cool. No reason. You mean three? That's the one. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> and I will move... You just trying to skip ahead the steps? Nope, nope. Ignore me. Why are you focused on me? Because I want to gain control. Because the Valentinos are the strongest. That we've covered this. They're just overpowered. <laughs> completely insanely overpowered. And then the Valentinos have won hundred percent of the games we've played. That just messes me true. over, Max. You need to spread him out. There, he's grouped together, and he's too strong. I don't. I'm not strong at all. Raise your hand if you think Jesse is currently the strongest player. Oh you know my what? gosh. Over oh, here. That's so much better for him. We have your best interests in mind. Yeah, I was worried about you not being a threat. I thought you wouldn't even notice you, but like, we're only like noticing you. I think yeah. I'm done here. Jesse, yeah. what are you taking your turn? Oh, man. You all are lovely. And we need to replenish this one, right? Yes. Um, did you roll your dice? Um, uh, yeah, Max, if you roll the dice. For your... Yeah, yeah, that's true. You're looking for a five, but I can roll or less. Ooh, we're gonna, gonna need that reroll. Much better. better. Six will work. <laughs> what are you thinking about, Jesse? I don't like those dice. They feel too like when they land badly. It feels like, like you didn't roll. You yeah, didn't roll. You yeah. barely moved. Yeah. Move dice. <sighs> All right, I'm going to start with a combat action, and we're going to do so here in this location. Pulling you out, Alex and Max, both of you are involved in this fight. Cool, 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 mm -hmm. Oh, dropping stuff all over the place. All right, ready to go? I'm thinking. What if we tie, but he have less guns? He'll lose. So only he lose. Yep, correct. Okay. It's all about guns. Okay. One, two, 
three guns, three guns, three, three guns. guns. <laughs> yep. What are what's your ability well, though, Max? Excuse, um, I get my guy back as revenge, so I have four guns. <sighs> what's your ability, Max? <laughs> If you have the single highest gun, you decide which opposing unit to kill. You so don't. both is... of y'all lose a unit, and I don't. Yeah, both of us are Now, additionally, nice. I did not lose a unit, plus because my guy was pulled back and an opposing unit was lost, I get two more points, I get a total of three points, and, and we are triggering. triggering. You punished both of us. Yeah. I hear what you're saying. Three points? <laughs> three Alex. points, yes, three points indeed. I didn't try right. starting this fight, except for the last one, but I didn't so. try starting these fights. Okay, so this was not what I intended to happen at all. I actually kind of wanted to move the game state forward by getting to that Netrunner spot, but I found an opportunity to get a few points from one of these opportunity cards early on. That gave me a bit of an early lead, and I've started doubling down on it. I've started doing more and more things that give me points, more and more things that give me points, and even though they're still attacking Jesse, they're starting to notice that I'm a threat. I didn't plan on being a threat this early on. I didn't want to be targeted, and I'm pretty sure I will be targeted, but I'm ahead enough on points that it might be worth it. Seven points. Remove both this and this, okay? Then discard this card and reveal Act 2B. Take that. Is there a back we Take should this. Reading? There are. There, it sounds like we should be reading things. Uh, You're not reading the flavor text? I didn't see the flavor text on the back of there. They so, all have flavor text on the back. So I should have had it organized like this then. Yes, so that way you can't see stuff. Oh. Should I read this flavor text before we move forward? You can, sure. Traces. Nobody moves within Night City without leaving a trace. Let's send our crew's net earners to find that Aras Arasaka agent, or whatever they managed to take from the corporation. We'll just need to be quicker than the other gangs. Act 2B, so we found the agent. The butterfly effect. Well, the agent's dead, of course. Maybe we can track down whatever the hell they stole from Arasaka. We'll hear some rumors from the black market soon. Let's stay chilled and be ready when that happens. Act setup. Place the Arasaka blueprints face down on top of the opportunity deck. Do we know what the Arasaka blueprints are? They've got to be a token from here. I'll pass you this and you just grab a token that works and we'll go with that. Uh, place the Arasaka blueprints face down on top of the opportunity deck. That's going to be over here. Uh, place a timer token. Do you have a little mm -hmm. timer token? Yep. On space 15 of the point track. Okay. okay. New rule, players cannot seize opportunities unless their net tracker is in the orange or red. Oh. Ooh, new rules. Branching, Arasaka should pay something to get this back. If a player seizes the Arasaka blueprints, I don't know how that happens. How does it happen? Oh, I guess if they seize an opportunity token? If I, you're in that, if you're in those zones and you do an opportunity, you'll yeah. be get, taking the token as well. Do you inherently take the token? It doesn't say that. Okay. On top of the opportunity token, okay. And then a player reaches past this. So who cares about these corpses if a player reaches past 15? And a player seizing the Arasaka blueprints is not 100% clear to me. But it could be when this happened and we take from the top of the deck. I don't know. I yeah. don't know. We'll see. Well, well, we can rule for right now that it's when you take the next opportunity. Okay. okay. You have a still second action if you that was, so yeah. wish. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to be using a Netrunner action. So this one here is going to move into there. This one here is going to move into here. Two blue tokens. That's sweet. And then I'm going to be taking uh, two. Ah, I'm just going to take one. Go ahead and gain a single victory point. And I need to roll those dice. You don't want to take two steps? No, I didn't take two steps. Okay. That's Perfectly fine. Reasonable. All done? Yep. Now that the first story point's been triggered, I I'm not sure how I want to deal with this next one. I'm far enough ahead on the Netrunner track that I could go ahead and just try to claim some opportunities and move the game state forward that way. But also, I'm moving forward on points, and points is ultimately the end game. I think I'm going to stick with points. I'm going to power forward. I want to just see how this plays out. High points or documents. And for me, I, I want to see if I can get those hidden documents. It's what my faction's good at. I just haven't really been in position to do that. People knocked out my, 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 my skilled player early on, and since then I've had none spawn on the board. I haven't had bases established. And I haven't had the opportunity to take advantage of any of these edge runner or opportunity cards. It's not going well for me. Reclaiming all of my discs. Gain one from presence. I am present over there. I will choose most likely to gain the money. Then I have um, all from dominance in here. I am going to get this and a money. And then I believe I have dominance in here as well, which will give me a point and one of each as well. 
and you can deploy. Recruit one for every hideout in play. I have two hideouts in play. I am going to recruit this here and this here. Alrighty, that's my turn. Alex. Okay. So, uh, for my first action, I'm going to go ahead and take a net run action. I'm going to go ahead and put this down over here. That means I'm going to get one because I only control. Or I get to move. Which is the unit type that you recruit a drone with? Is it? It's the tech units. Mm -hmm. Okay. Correct. Um, I think all the other zones are taken. I'm green, right? Yes. Yes. You Am are. I, do I control any purple zones? No. I don't. Oh, interesting. That would be obnoxious. I want the purple zones. <laughs> I want the purple zones. They I need want to it keep all. Somebody else. I know. Max is down there all yeah. alone, and if you don't go into that zone, he's going to keep refreshing and getting. I, I don't have any fighting. All the resources. I don't have any fighting. You have no fighting right no. now. I'm still going to do the action. I'm just not going to be able to get the triple zones, and I will go ahead and advance three on the net runner track. Wow. So am I, is that me? That's not me. Yeah. You're over here. Me. I should be able to go to the next one. You Gain. can. However, however far you want to go, though. Yeah. So I'm going to move that fully that one, so get me one point if you don't mind. Gain one point, and one friendly techie may build up to two drones. Indeed. And that's what I'm going to do in my home base. Nice. Okay, so now I control my home base again, which I like. Uh, then I will have to roll the dice and see what happens. What I need is seven or six. Uh, you need five. a five plus. That'll work. That'll work. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, then I have a second action. And what's the third level of a track? Reset your net tokens. It's gain two and convert a basic unit. What's a basic unit? Oh, uh, so you get to take any one, any other player's unit mm -hmm. and swap it with one of yours. Well, that seems like a good thing. I like that. That seems like. A, but if I if I fail the rule, I sacrifice a friendly net runner along with all friendly units in its district. Mm -hmm. It's pretty punishing. Oh. oh, I like that. I'm intrigued by that. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm gonna go ahead and add, take another net run action by doing this okay. over here. I'm gonna go all the way to the top. All the way. Yep, I'm gonna go ahead and gain two and convert a basic unit. So I'm a little worried about Shira. She seems very aggressive. Are you gaining your points? Uh, yes, can you give me two points? You gained the one from the orange one? And the or orange he's, one. He's done it correctly. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so you give me two points right there. Then I'm going to go ahead and convert one of Shira's aggressive people because I don't trust her. I'm gonna put one of my aggressive people in play instead. Okay, perfect. And then from there, I will go ahead and roll the dice and see what happens. Hopefully I get a seven, uh, eight or higher. Eight or higher. Ooh, yep. Perfect. And he comes back to the... He yeah. will He will after this, yeah. And, after then, this. and then I will reset my token. Okay. And that's my turn. The interesting thing is you're not able to do documents now because you got... You pulled up. Correct. Yeah. When you that go, was the balance. When you, when you do like multiple steps, do you do both the actions? No. Just no. the one you're Just what you stop at. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I will spend my wild, wild and I'll do the net run. So I'll get one blue. Okay. And I can go How up far to two. Up? Gain one and one friend will take me. Okay. Or gain one and kill one any unit. Oh, I like that. I'll go up to here. Okay. So you gain a victory point. And I can kill any unit. By the way, Alex is off to an astounding lead in case no one is paying attention. Don't know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. He triggered the first nine and he's about to trigger the next 15. I don't know what you're talking about. And the about. game ends no matter what at 25. To be fair, so. if it makes you feel better, this is not going at all according to my plans. <laughs> <laughs> don't know if that makes us any feel any better. Well, I had a very specific plan to lay low and not be a threat. Just didn't happen. You have too many net runners, so we need to take some of his net runners. But which one? Alex is really, really far ahead, and it scares me. We need to do something about it. Well, there goes that. I'm definitely being targeted. Left, right, and center, every single peripheral action that anyone is taking that can in any way hurt me, they are doing so, which is fine. I'm really far ahead on points. I don't think they're gonna catch me. Yes, they're gonna try to stop me, but at this point, I'm close enough to the end. No one else is really close enough. I'm a little worried about Jesse. He's starting to catch up. Shira got a little stifled by the game state, even though she does have those extra bonus points. Max isn't really a threat at all. I still think I have this. You wanna hit me, bro? You wanna hit me? Yes, I do. Do you even did. code, bro? Do you even code? <laughs> do you even code? Alex he, does actually code. Did you take your, did you take your point? Uh, I think Jesse yes. gave me a point. Okay. Wait, how did you take off a unit mine? What did you do? He landed on the one this. that you could just kill any unit. Kill one unit. Wait, what's that? What's the thing? The one oh my dear. You need to roll. How no. offensive. That's true. And he also gets a free roll. 
You're oh, good. Perfectly good. You should Do be I get the be roll, extra point for that? No. You don't get no. the extra This isn't Zion. This is different, it's not Zion. different game. It's also not Monopoly. Okay, I will... Upgrade a card. Upgrade the card so I can use this crate. Oh, boy. <sighs> and you can basically... Yeah. Do your stuff. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do another Netrunner action. Taking a look at these. So two more wild tokens. Uh, and I'm going to bump myself by two, where I can move one opposing unit. And I'm going to go ahead and move... Um, I'm going to move Shira over there. What are you doing? Where are you? What action? I, this. This. Pay move attention. One. I was looking at what my turn is going to be. I understand, but you don't get to aggressively be like, what are you doing? I, oh, I do. She's aggressively being, what are you doing? Okay, and then I'm going to do a card here. To pick two. Sure, your turn. When you flip the card. Yep. The guns first or the modifiers first? I think it's simultaneous. I don't know. Yeah, guns happens. and abilities happen together. Okay. <sighs> Makes sense. All so, right. you, so basically, you can win the gunfight even if your yes only soldier was taken out. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. I'm doing a. I'm gonna do a uh, a netrunner action here with any number of netrunner units. That one's gonna be there. Why do you get to do that? I'm taking a net running action. You can't push me out like that. You can't push no. out. You have to uh, push out with uh, so the solos. I want to. I, I that we could redesign the game. That is true. Once. That is yeah. true. Yeah, can. Take it's a prototype. It's rules and components subject to change. We say that all the time. Mm. That means your change. And what is there a rule on adjacency? I don't know what that means. I mean, do you have to move adjacent to adjacent spots? Yeah, adjacent. Spots? Yes. The board does matter. Mm, I don't want it to. We could also redesign that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This game just makes me want to play Godfather. Because I've heard that like, Godfather has like slight similarities to this. Very slight. But like, I don't want to play Godfather. So I'm not doing that right now. I am going to move these combat cards over there. Let's move the combat cards over there. I'm doing a... Never, heck never. unit. Yep. Um, I'm not moving my guy. He's just gonna hang out on that orange spot, and I am hiring this edge runner. Okay. Um, for two money. Um, would you like to know what his ability is? Goro Takamura. Mm -hmm. When he, it triggers when he moves into a district with an opposing unit. I can look at the hand of the opponent in the district, and I discard one card from their hand. Seems obnoxious. More and more violent, more and more aggressive. Uh, can you find him for me over there while I take my next action? So Shira is clearly upgrading a, a card. major threat along with Alex. Both of them are. No, no, no. Um, and I just chose to upgrade a combat card as well. Mm, I think he's actually this guy, not that guy. Okay. And he pops out onto the board. Does he have to start on my home base? Or yep, can he start has to start in your home base. In your home unit? Well, in a base. It could start in either mm -hmm. base, though. And they activate a solo unit? I can't remember. Yes. Yeah. It's a solo unit. Activates based off of whatever the card itself says. Oh, it's a solo unit. So mine's a techie, for instance. And gotcha. then I am going to look at four combat cards. My turn? Yes. Yep. Cool. I'm going to go ahead and recall. Two tokens out, straight refresh. At this point, I'm far enough ahead that I, I don't know exactly what it is I'm going to do or not going to do, but those extra peripheral points, if I can get two, two to three points a turn, if I can stay ahead of them, I think I have this. Already? Yes. I will go ahead for the top region over there. I have dominance, so I'll get a money well, that's and a point. Yeah, can I have a point, please? He's in a good spot to do it. Okay. And then for this region over here, I do not believe I have dominance. Nope. Because you have more units, so I'll simply take a point. Just a point? Ah, wow. And then I will go ahead and uh, recruit one unit for every hide on and play, at which point I will pop a Netrunner over here. Um, interesting. I'll pop a Netrunner over here and a solo unit over there. 
and it's your turn, Max. I'll do the same thing. Uh, I will be cool. Is there a symbol guide? I will get one Don't point okay. and a crate. And I will get another two crates. Did you give me a point? Okay, yep. And I have a presence here, so I'll get more money. And I can pop the units out. Jesse, do you know uh, what the symbol is? I will get... It's a specific guy. token, but I'm not sure what the token is. Okay. It's one of these tokens that I haven't seen used for anything. Okay. I think it might be a faction token or something, like uh, opposing gangs. Yeah. I'll get another. This one. You know what? Okay. And that's mm -hmm. me. All right. I'm going to be taking a base building action. Okay. So we're going to spend two coins to go ahead and set a base down here in this district, I think. Mm -hmm. I liked Alex's double victory point push. It's though. a nice little push, right? It's yeah. an awesome push. Very upset about it existing. Um. All right, I've set that down, and then I'm going to be taking a techie action. Uh, I only have one of... Do I have any of these people on the board? I don't have any of these people on the board. I can't even do that. How have you all killed everything? I think this is... No, they're not on the board. They got uh, murdered. Oh. When bad. did you all... We just kill things. When did you all kill everything? Valentinos are the strongest faction. How many times do you have to say this, Jesse? Do I build that base then and cycle a whole turn just... No, I'm, I'm not going to build the base. I'm just going to do a refresh action. It's very frustrating. I want you all to be aware of that. Base comes back. Everything refreshes back up. Uh, I can put down a single unit, which is the annoying part. For the Valentinos, it's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, single unit is popping out onto the board. And I gain resources from areas that I in. I do have dominance there, so that's two more coins. And I have presence up here, so I'm going to take one single crate from that location. That's it, Shira. I wasn't quite ready for my turn. Okay. I'm not gonna, not gonna lie there. Um. Mm. I'm gonna net run with. Just my one person on the purple. I gain one blue wild resource. And then I can, I believe I have two out on the board, so I can take two steps, mm -hmm. um, which would be one, two. And down there, move one opposing unit. I would like, it just move. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, I like that. Good. I'm so glad you like it. No, I said, why like that? Why like that? Yeah, why so aggressive? Why not? Why not? Um, doing that, roll, can I please have the dice? Where are they? This is the rough part. Okay, seven. And then I'm going to use my wild and do that again and move him into here. That's, uh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Is that okay? Yo. Yeah. I get two. <laughs> you want to keep saying yeah? I get two. And how far down are you going? And I can take two steps as well. Um, where do I want to go? Gain one point, one fr friendly techie. I don't want that. So I think this is tied to this card, by the way, Alex. I, I wanted that because it can't be the first card. No. It, but this, even then, it's only the second card. Moving here. Mm -hmm. still... Gain one point. Do you only get this if you succeed at the dice roll? No, no you do it first and then you roll. Okay, gain a point, which is nice. And then kill any unit. And we're killing this unit. What? <sighs> How dare you? And then we're going to roll these dice. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. What happens? Uh, sacrifice one friendly net runner along with all friendly units in its district. Oh. So, I mean, the clear option is this one because and drone, only yeah. the drone dies. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because these other spaces would be uh, 
Little more punitive. Brutal. Bye bye, drum. Then you reset back up to the top. Congratulations. So how this one's gonna be triggered? When somebody buys that card, we think. Thank this you. One. Yes. My so turn? we need yes, to buy one turn. card. Right, I'm then... gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do a base building action. I'm gonna spend two money. I'm going to build a base and I'll get a point. Can you give me a point, please? I'm gonna put the base down over oh, here. Stop then it. Then I'm gonna use my wild action along with this credit over here. Spend money and a credit and build my last base. Can I have two more points and we're triggering that action? Uh, can you put me in the region at the very? Let him get ahead. Yeah. I Excuse think, you. I think I'll go up to where sure is up there, the very top region. Perfect. And that's my turn. Okay. Remove the time from the blueprints uh, from the game, then discard this card and reveal Act 3. Make sure uh, I read the, 3C. Make sure they read the flavor text. So, side Y, Act 3C. We may have pushed it a bit too far. Our casa lost an agent and now their secrets are on the black market. No wonder they're out for blood. Time to lay low. When a corp is looking for a scapegoat, it doesn't matter if, this, if the Straffinger or some, if it's a Straffinger or some gang. Uh, act setup. New rule. For every firefight, Arkasa is considered a, an involved opponent with four damage. No units. Any basic uh, unit lost in a firefight is removed from the game and put on this card. Any player with more than four damage in a firefight gains one victory point. Whoa. Uh, story epilogue. Those Cylons wiped us out without without discrimination. There's nothing left to do but find a hole and hide. The number of basic units on this card equals twice the number of players. The story ends and the game is over with all players losing the game against a Arcasa. What? what happens what? there? Okay. If the number of basic units on this card equals twice the number of players. So if enough if firefights eight, happen... If there's eight on that card... Wow. We all lose. And otherwise, how do we win? 25 points? Yeah. Our 25 points is our, is our victory. Okay. So we're gonna like every so time we're gonna lose the whenever fight. Whenever there's a fight, some units may go to the card. But you can gain victory points by engaging in fights. Yes. So it's kind of like how yeah, how high up you get. You four guns. You don't have four guns on a regular basis, here? You do. I don't know. Huh. And there's nothing to do to add guns. Okay. Interesting. Well, it's Max's turn. Okay. He immediately engages in a fight. I don't love that new story card, honestly. I don't love the fact that someone can intentionally trigger the game winning if they feel they're not winning. I, I'm okay with the stories, but like, I just don't like the incentive it gives a losing player to potentially tank the game. The ending that just came out kind of negates my whole faction's purpose of fighting. It requires that you have at least four guns when you're initiating or trying to win a fight. And most of the combat cards don't have four guns. It's going to be really hard for me to stay in the game here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on it. Uh, How are ties? Ties? You don't lose Battle. anything. Okay. Yeah, just double checking. You just don't add guns. You just do not add guns. Yeah. It has to be any modifiers, any story modifiers. Did it give a story modifier on the card as to how you add guns? What do you mean add guns? Did it, does it say a way to add guns or it just says they're... It, I don't do you, think it does. What do you mean to add guns? Some story modifiers might have effects on other people having more guns. I, I don't think that one does. I think it's just a limitation. You just have yeah, to have four. no. Yeah. Yeah. So, for example, like I have a modifier. If I have a revenge, you have a modifier. If you initiate yeah. a firefighter, fire, there's, there's definitely modifiers in play other than your card alone. But they're not that common. So, basically, Shira's whole strategy is got tanked. Yeah, I'm noticing. Very frustrating. This, for the record, is why I simultaneously think we'll enjoy the stories, but I think it does potentially take away from the mechanical aspect. The fact that Shira went in a direction that I don't, suddenly stayed. I, I, don't, I don't entirely think so, because one, we're revealing it randomly. Yeah, that's So point. next time we play, there's a bit more strategic gauge on that. No, but it's the randomness that I don't take. And like. two, it is both rewarding and punitive. She can gain a ton of victory points through this if process. If she's strong enough. If yeah. she doubled down enough, potentially. Again, I don't... You I need I, to have... There are very few cards that have more than four guns, and yeah. I don't have any of the factions that can add guns. Any player with more than four guns... You have guns. by far the strongest faction in the game, though. That doesn't matter. I'm it talking about yeah. cards. I'm, saying, wrong. I'm enjoying matter. I'm enjoying it. There's no question about that. From my but. three cards that are revealed... Hmm? Oh, man. That end game card. I don't know if I love it or hate it when it comes to my strategy, but when it comes to the gameplay experience... I really enjoy these strategy and these story cards. The first time you play through them, they're like an open book adventure. The world's changing and you have to respond accordingly. The second time you play through them, you can kind of choose the pathway you want to go down. 
you know where it's going to resolve and you can build or prep in that direction. Unless, of course, someone triggers one of the other branching narratives. I'm really liking this. No, not more than four guns. All right, I think... Also, any edge runners that add guns, some of them do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll activate my net runners and I'll get one blue for okay. that. Will I move any of them? I think so. Yes, over here. And now I can go up to here, right? Mm -hmm. So I will get two victory points. And now I can replace anybody's unit with my unit, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So I can... I mean, you're in the most outstanding lead. Valentino is the strong. How many times do you have to say this? I will. And I remove from here and put them here? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Unbelievably offensive. I say, unbelievably offensive. We need to. What's the colors there? Okay, that was the first one. Okay. Mm. Ah, now I need to roll. Can I get the cube? I hope you roll poorly. I can do all the on your people. That's ah, not you're poorly. Good. Back up to the top. All right. And the second thing I'm gonna do. Did I get two points from that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I will move my buddy. Solo? And activating a firefight. Over here. And you're activating a fight in there? Yes, I do. And everyone well, is involved then. in. Kick well, then. Wow. Keep all units occupying points of interest into the street. All involved players. It's going to be a whole bunch of units on the, uh, card. on the West Call card. Yeah. Keep in mind that default strength is four. Anything less than yeah. four is losing. It's all right. incorporated. Uh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I wanted to play this card. <laughs> okay, cool. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Holy cow, Max. That's, uh, what, that's, that's a fun card. I had it So last game. my ability is, I my weapon strength is equal to one other card in the firefight. I'm joining you. <laughs> so I tie with you. And then what are you doing? And if you initiate the firefight and the friendly basic net runner, I don't have a friendly net runner there. No. Ooh. So I match with you. Now, what's your ability? And you you match my ability as well? I don't. Or? I don't. Oh, no. okay. I so just don't. I just won't die. Can I need see? to lose one friendly unit. Whoa. So you have, you have the better part of this card. I do, actually. That's nice. Yeah. Okay. And you get a uh, point for each opposing unit lost. Yeah. Oppo opponent one. solo lost. Uh, opponent one point solo. for each. Solo uh, lost. Okay. okay. Shira, what's your abilities? I mean, I played my four, yeah. four guns. Um, mine is if you have the single highest guns. Which you don't. So I don't. Alex, any uh, ability? I have one if an opponent loses a non drone unit. Okay, so Alex will score a point. Why? Because someone's going to lose a non drone unit. Um, oh, you lost the unit, yes. Uh, he really he unit. lost the yes. unit. Shira, you're losing a unit. Shira's losing a drone, I'm probably. Gonna be you losing lose a drone? drone. That's okay. not my. That, whoa, was, hey, hey. You can take off oh, that. I'm sorry. I don't no, mind I am that. losing the drone, too, the truth. I am losing the drone. Now, do these go here? No, they're not. that's a non basic unit. This Drones is are special units. Hmm. Oh, okay. That, that says non-basic unit. Drones are special so, units. So, so my unit go goes over there. Your unit might go there. Sure. Can you read what it says? Um, for every any basic unit lost in a firefight okay. is removed yeah. from the game and put on this card. Lost from a firefight. So this is one of those rulings thing where I think that counts. Okay. Lose one both friendly. Of you, also speaking of which, both I'm of you not had losing a drone. more than four guns, so you each gain a point yeah. from this. I am losing. I am losing a solo unit, which won't go in the car because my ability is going to go in front of you as revenge. And for solo unit, I get one yep. point. So one, yep. and one. Now you're ruling that this person mm -hmm. goes here. Yeah, I, I, it's not a hundred clear. Well, because I'm counting it too, because I get one for each opposing unit lost. Yeah. So I'll be gaining th yes. three. One, two, three. It's insane. Okay. You, is it just unit in general? Yep. Wow. The cards in this game are really good. Okay. Really good. All right. Is that the end of your turn? Uh, looks like yeah. it. All right.
That was a fairly impactful turn. Very, only very, one person ended up on the card. Very violent. Still need seven more for the card uh, to win. I'm going to be taking a attack action, mm -hmm. and I'm going to be moving down here, pull Max off that zone, and I'm going to be engaging you in combat. That's my good. Friend. I think the Voodoo Boys are the strongest faction. You take them down. Oh my gosh! There is a uh, oh ah. This is interesting. And you remember it's basic. This is basic four. So if you don't have four, we're both gonna lose the unit. Don't oh, start with me. All right, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Flipping. Uh, neither of us have more. Okay. Uh, I will lose my unit. It'll go over here onto this card. But I may spend four wilds to gain four victory Up points. To four wilds Whoa. to gain. Yellow. One, two, three, Thirteen. Yeah. Four. Wow, that was nice, Jesse. Okay. And this pops over here and. Does and it, you don't you both lose? Uh, and my unit goes over there as Your well. Your unit goes yeah. over there as well. And I will have... gain one victory point if yeah. opponent lose and non join. Okay. And By the way, this is the another aspect that I don't love, the fact that Shira might sit there and say, you know what? Fine. Let's have a bunch of fights and have the Kamaga win. win. She could. Yep. <clears throat> I, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Um, your turn for your next action. Okay, uh, my next action is going to be this net action. I have one there. I'm going to move this one over and into here. Um, that's going to give me two more wild tokens. Uh, and I can move up by two here. Um, I'm going to move up to here. So one more point. Uh, and kill any one unit. I am going to go ahead and kill this one here. Okay. Oh, wait, that doesn't make... I want it. Do you have any other people who are violent on yes. the board? Yes, one of these guys is a, is a solo. Then yeah. I won't bother. Uh, who else has violence? In my heart. Alex, are any of your... Do you have any additional characters that are violent? Yeah. There's only a purple. That solo look, at okay. your, look at the basis. I'm removing yours, then. How dare you? I need to neutralize people's abilities How to trigger you? combat. That's my biggest weakness. Are you done? Uh, roll the dice? Yeah, I've got to roll How the dice. How many steps did you move? Perfectly fine. And that is it. My turn. I'm yep. building a base. Mm -hmm. Building a base. Just... In there. Yeah. And I gain a point for that. And it costs two money. So I'll be using that and that. And then I am going to... B. Aggressive. B. 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 Aggressive. Aggressive. B. You. You're fighting me? Yes. I didn't do anything to you. Don't care. She have uh, her token. I think it's this but guy. But she has two of them. She should be able to trigger combat. Which is, I can't somewhere. tell which guy is which. Can you show me him? I need this. I need jo I need Gor Goro. This is the top one. This is the top one? Mm -hmm. With the glasses and then I, the bottom one. Uh, move him in here, and Jesse, combat. Don't you look and discard a card or something? I can. You may look at mm -mm. the card and discard it. Uh, you may look at the card, then you may discard one card from your hand. I am not discarding your card. Uh, why? Because I know what cards you have in your deck. It'll give me a victory point. I don't mind. Um. All right. God, I. <laughs> ah. Don't like this. Okay, let's go. Okay, I'm going to lose my unit. You I'm have your tied, four. So I'm least saved. Uh, that doesn't give me any points. And if I have no units left in the district, I am going to score a point. Yeah. Okay. Am I here? Yes, sir. I'm going to recall. I'm gonna go ahead and take uh, money for that district, as well as two points, one for this and one for this. Can I get two points? And then I'm gonna pop four units into play, because that seems like a reasonable thing to do. Let's go ahead and pop a net run into play over here, a military unit into play over here, yeah. a military unit into play over there. Oh, I probably want some engineer flexibility too. I'll get that. I'll pop this one into play over there, and then an engineer over here. And that's my turn. Miss Max. Max. Oh, yeah, yeah. Have you scored points for building your buildings? Um, yeah, I when I built them. When yeah. I built them. 
Yes, he did. What should I do first? Um, I need some victory points, which is always good, right? I think so. I will do the engineering, right? Or, and I will move from this spot over here. Okay. And now... Do you I, want to move your other one no. as well? Uh, this guy over there. You only built by one thing no matter what, but it's not bad to lock things up. At the very least, if you can take a position, it's hurting somebody else from their flexibility. Mm. Although it also might make them want to kill you, so there's that. No, we don't like killing. Except for the Valentinos, because they're the strongest And action. now, for one, because I have presence in the city center, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. For one, I can buy this card. Right? What are those cards down there? Can Once and you flip over the new one, can you re read them? So the new card is, when you buy it, you gain one victory point, point for each purple card you have, then you may move up to three friendly units. Okay. And this card that I got, gain one victory okay. point for each purple, purple card you have, then two. you may replace an opportunity card in the market, putting... At the bottom of that. Yeah, I don't so want to do points. that. So you got two points offhand. I'm getting two points. And right now I will use my wild and I will do the same action and I will spend okay. I think I have a presence in the Haywood as well but do I want this one or this one three friendly units I'll pay another great and I'll get this one it will give me three victory points nice and I can spread my units. Can you flip over another and say what it is? Oh, sorry. Uh, chip it in. It's going to be presence in the city center. Gain one point for each blue card you have. Then you may move any friendly unit directly into the city center. Okay. I can move the angry guy. I can move three friendly units up to once or I can move the same one three times. It, yes. Um, sorry, what was that? Or it's a restriction. No, it's different ones. But different. Yeah. Can you pass the rules, Alex? Because say here, then you may move up to three friendly units. Yeah. It's so not it's the same one multiple times. Okay. What are you looking for? Move mm -hmm. it. I will move this one over here. And I will move. I will remember you. And if I'll move this one, it will initiate the fight or not? Uh, if you moved... Uh, no, this does not initiate Just the, the movement. fight. It's the action that would initiate a okay. fight. Then... I will go over here with him. Or over here. And over here. And this one good. Okay, I think I'm done. Okay. Going to take a Netrunner action, moving down to that purple zone. Okay. Getting myself two more wild. Shifting forward by one, gain two victory points. Uh, and convert one basic unit. I am going to convert... I think I'm going to convert right here. How dare you. <laughs> uh, okay, I've got a roll. Please don't shoot. shoot. Awesome. Nice. That resets the top. Amazing. Okay, now I could do a combat card upgrade. I'm going to go ahead and do a combat card upgrade. A little bit late in the game for it, but I think it's probably worth exploring. Sure, go ahead. I am pulling back all of my units my desks um so gain one from presence so i'm presence in here i'm taking a point i am present up there i don't have dominance i'm taking another point and i am present in here and i am taking a money but 
For my and turn. And then um, recruit Suspend one for units. every hideout in play. And yes, I'm putting this out in here. Putting this out in there. It's getting a little violent quickly. And no, no. Putting um this out in here. Oh, I'm switching where these two where these two are. Now, so I did double check this, okay, before anything happened. But like, there's nothing that says I can't reclaim, even if I didn't use any discs. Cool. Just, just letting you know, because I'm gonna take three points: one, two, and then three, along with the money. And then I'm simply going to add more units to the board again, and I'll add a unit over here, a unit over here, and a unit over there. Whoops, sorry, up there. Mm -hmm. Cool. And that's my turn. To you, Max. Okay. Okay. So. I feel like this game is ending very, you know, very quickly. <laughs> I think it might end quickly. I. Yeah, in order to reclaim, it's good. It, well, I mean, to kill my units, figure out. You can do it. Uh, I will build a base and I'll get a point and I'll build a base over. This has to be an area where you're not. Mm -hmm. When I don't have a base. Uh, players look? cannot reclaim if no action decks have been spent it unless it? they have no units in play or no resources in their reserve. It didn't say that. Where did Absolutely it say that? you said that. I looked at the section. Fine. <laughs> One, two, three. I was like, that doesn't quite seem right. That, that I looked at the section. I know what it looks like, but this is not my fault. I specifically opened the rule book. I specifically looked at what the things you can do on your turn are. Didn't say a thing about the reclaim restrictions. It's only later when you get to the reclaim action where it says, by the way, this thing that we told you you can do earlier, you can't unless it's the game's fault, not mine. Three <laughs> points. I took you down three okay. points. That's thanks. So back to my cool. turn. I specifically looked. That's not cool. I um, mean, it's... It's a little too easy. No, it seemed, it, it it seemed to be written pretty sense. clearly. Yeah. It makes sense. I just I just looked for the section on reclaiming. It's probably out of order. Either it's way. at the very top of the section on reclaiming. I'll take a look again shortly. Um, anyways. No, I believe you. I believe you. I'm just surprised. We'll take a look in a second. Let me just take my turn instead then. Because now I have to rethink my turn because I had a very specific turn in mind. Um, Here you are, audience. Turn type, reclaim. Players cannot um, reclaim if no action does gotcha. so, spent. So I looked where you choose the action type, meaning where you take the turn, the activate or reclaim. Ah, gotcha. Doesn't say. No, yeah, there's a yeah. specific section on the, the like a action. detailed on the. Okay, cool. Action. So I'm gonna do a different action instead. Clearly, uh, we shall have to think about what that action is though, because I had plans that aren't gonna work now. Um, I like plans that don't work. Mm -hmm. I have to put my money back. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so I can't do that. I can't do that. I could do that. And I can't do that. I think I'm going to have to do a net run action. So we're going to do a net run action where we'll go to the. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. We'll go to the third. So I'm going to go straight to the third tier of the net runner. Do you have that many out? Yes, I have all three out. You're not on any purple zone, so you're not collecting I anything. And move one opposing unit. Yep, I'm going to move one opposing unit, and I will go ahead and move. Let's say Jesse. I don't like Jesse. I'm going to go ahead and, in general, I don't like you. Um, <laughs> nothing personal. It's just a fact of life. I'm going to go ahead and move you out of the way over here. Uh, we're going to pop you out. Okay. Uh, we'll just move you where? Anywhere? Wherever. Wherever. I mean adjacent. So let's go over here. Okay. Uh, then I will go ahead and roll. Can I see the dice? So I have to roll not I need more than a five. No, that's not That'll a five, is it? That'll work. That's, that's a five. Uh, that's five. You sacrifice one friendly net runner and you cycle back up here. I cycle back up? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that holds me back a turn or two, but I don't think it really matters. At the end of the day, I'm far enough ahead. Jesse is, I mean, like, he, he might do something. I don't know. Maybe Shira will trigger the end game just to spite all of us. I can see that happening, but I, I, unless, the, unless she does that, I think I have this. Sacrifice one friendly netrunner. Yeah, and you cycle... Uh, Anytime you, know? you get triggered, yeah. Okay, gotcha. Um, that's unfortunate. That's not what I wanted at all. Well, net then. Netrunner there. Netrunner here. Netrunner net there. Netrunner there. Netrunner there. Netrunner there. Um, no, netrunner here. Netrunner here. Okay. Then, I'll have to, unfortunately, do something similar, but not what I wanted to, which is... That's really annoying. Make sure to move your discs down when you're finished your turn. Which discs? Oh, the action yes. discs. Um, I will go ahead and I will pop another netrunner action over and I'll pop it over here and I will 
we could do another action, grabbing it just this time and going up one on the trash. Just one? Just two, you guys, single point. Okay, and then I'll roll the dice. And that's a four, that's gonna be five, five. I'm good. <laughs> okay, you're good. Yeah, it's not zero, it's the, the come on through. All right, All right next. Turn. I think I'll do the claim. Okay. So I'll get one point here mm -hmm. and uh, because I have a dominance yep. here. Right, drones. So I'll get a crate. Now over there I have a dominance, right? It's another two crates. Um, I don't think you have dom. You just have presence. It doesn't count for dominance. You're tied with the amount yeah. of units you You're have. So oh, it's amount of units. Yeah. Okay. So you just get one resource. Okay. Good to know. And over here. Did you do the green one, Haywood? Here in there for one, you get one dollar. Which one, Haywood? That uh, one. <clears throat> yes, one dollar here and one dollar there. Yep. Jesse. And I can uh, put out the put units. Put out units, according to your oh, basis. I'll read it. I'll read it. Okay. You're too generous. <laughs> okay. You're reclaiming. Reclaiming as well. Both the actions. Hmm? Are you reclaiming? That's gotcha. Okay. Putting out a unit. Okay, two coins and one crate. Sure, your turn. My turn. Yep. <clears throat> okay. I am going to build a hideout. This. Which will get you two points. Uh, money and blue. And put the hideout down there in the pink zone. Um, and that'll get me two points. And then I'm upgrading a combat card, which takes this forward one. On you, Alex. I'm gonna go ahead and oh, I reclaim. don't know if I spent for the last one. <laughs> I might have not spent so I'm putting another one. And money. Okay. And you get to put units out? Uh, yes, let's put a whole bunch of units out. Let's put a unit down over here. And a unit down over here, and a unit down over here, and a unit down in my main area. Okay. Okay, let's see if I'm lucky. Do you feel lucky, punk? Let's see. Let's see. Okay, I'll play my tech unit, right? And I'm already here with my guy. Do I want to move anybody? And maybe, maybe I'll move over here. And this one is good over there. Now I can buy one of those, right? So mm -hmm. I will buy this purple for. Wait a second. No, I can't move from here. I need to stay yeah. here because I need a presence in Haywood. Now I need to pay one crate. Let's see if it comes lucky. out. Sure, the new one is another purple, which Oof. he's hoping for. But nice. it three crates, which he may... Oh, he have it. He, he have definitely it. has it, yeah. I have four. Gain one point for each purple, then gain one point for each district where you control a point of So I'm getting four points from here. Wow. Oh my gosh, he's about to win. Okay. And now... I'm doing it again? Yes, I'm doing it again. Buying another purple? Yes, I am. No! He's going to win my next turn. Wait, he went first. What's the turn order situation four, here? Two... Three, gain one for each. You four, have to gain one for each five. district where you control a point of interest. Should I pass me the rules for a second? You can check at end game. Um, well, he, he went first. Yep. Do you? Does he? Um, I don't think it mattered when we played online. I, think I know, but it triggered it feels, it feels automatically. Like um, you you got nothing. four points again, or five? Five. And I think I need to get another gain one. I gave you five. Extra point for each district where you control the point End of the player's of turn, interest. where one of these conditions is met. So, 25 one, one of the conditions. Okay, pass me two, two, Did you give out three, different starting four, resources? Another four. Oh, no, it's did you give just out district. Starting so, yep. Oh, you did? Yeah. One, ah, two, okay. three, four. Okay. Are you sure? You yeah. All the way up we there. Each had, we each had, had two and one. You both had two and two. Yeah. Who's you both? Hmm? Who's you both? Him and I had two and one. Gotcha. I had you two and two. You both had two and two. Okay. Game end is triggered. That's game end. Game end is triggered. I was, I, I, I get four more points. She yes. gets four more points because the end of her round. I was, I would have had, I was very close. I was, My next I, turn was getting the two points from here. I was very close. I'm glad Alex didn't win. 
<laughs> I am I am reluctantly okay with not winning. You need that. You need that purple draw. I would. I had this. I I, I, was, I have multiple ways of getting. Two I just points. got lucky yeah. with another purple. No, but that's happened to me. As I well. needed. I needed more people to do. I needed you or you to do a combat action, and then I needed to do a combat action. And sure, just got stuck. Her whole I got track stuck. Of points. Yeah, the game because as soon as that thing had four guns. It is really hard to have four her guns. Her realistic option I multiple have... times was to end the game so no one else won, and she clearly didn't want to do that. I've been upgrading, and I'm looking through the deck. There, So far, I've seen one card, the card that matches guns, and the one card he has that has more than four. Some of them manipulate, too. I think though. it actually helps with four. our factions where we have an option to do so. I was going to say, some of, your, some of your runners and some of your other people manipulate gun values as well. So far, I've seen... So there's three cards... Two cards that have four, and two cards that have more than four. Um... Uh, I think it takes out the maelstrom a little too much. Yeah. This episode. It's all situational. It all depends how it plays yeah. out. But yeah. Yeah. Anyways, this has been a game. Yeah. Cool. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time. Yeah. Bye. That came out of left field. I'm really happy Max won, but I was not expecting him to be a contender. Oh, come on. Max, seriously? This is not how I wanted things to go. Good for him, though. I, I mean... Congratulations on the victory. I'm just glad it wasn't Alex. That was a satisfying moment. I saw Alex running so far ahead and I was scared I can't reach him, but at the end I got lucky. I just got lucky.